Hello. Hello. Howdy. Sup. Hi. Welcome to episode eight, a special extra long show with extra special guests. What is it you are actually so making? We're, we're doing two things. We're doing a savory and a sweet. Um, I'll let Tom talk about the savory. We're trying to do a cake. It's kind of like a picnicker's revenge. So we're kind of trying to sneak as many bugs in as we can. So we're having a... <laughs> A cricket flour chocolate Genoese, which is in the oven as we speak. Lovely. We're doing a lovely chocolate ganache, which we're hopefully not going to ruin with the addition of um, some. Is it um, ants that we're using? Oh no, they're mealworms. No, no mealworms, meal sorry. A mealworm ganache. So we've ground up some mealworms nice. with a couple of walnuts, which we're going to stir in and ruin our lovely glossy <laughs> ganache. <laughs> then we're going to have some crystallised ants and then. Um, an ant praline as yeah. well, which is going to be on wow. Jurassic Park style shards on top of the cake. <laughs> oh, wow. Excellent. Now, the savoury that we're doing. And the savoury is going to be a little bit more visceral. We're not going to hide the insects so much. We're going to be making some lovely tacos with crickets. So we're going to be making a lovely fresh guacamole, pickled onions, and then fried crickets all over them to be lovely and meaty. You see, you had me with the guacamole, the pickled onions, and just, I love a good taco. <laughs> With fried crickets. With fried yeah. crickets. That's a new one. I even I want it even with the crickets. <laughs> <laughs> I think the crickets are probably the most palatable of all the insects we've got here. The queen ants, I don't know if want to show this with a camera, are very menacing looking. <laughs> when you look at them, they're quite they're quite large and look as if they've got Tom said they had quite a few legs to get through. Yeah, there was quite a few legs stuck in my teeth after I ate those ones. But oh, you know, no. really selling it to us. Yeah. Andrew, have you ever had a pet, say, caterpillar or anything? Oh, I see where this is going. <laughs> I, 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 I haven't, but my brother did. Again, this he, uh, he's he's using this as a real opportunity to get back at me for all his childhood gripes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it really. It's is. what radio is for. <laughs> you know what? We all make mistakes when we're younger, and I, I might have accidentally uh, curtailed his caterpillar's life when I was when I was a child. Um, did you eat it? It was an experiment gone wrong. Oh, no, I didn't eat it. I didn't eat it. It was very furry. I don't think it would have gone down well, but there was an unfortunate accident with some bug spray in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ah. Total accident, but it's clearly mm. stuck with him. He, I think he needs to get over it. Yeah. What are your thoughts on almost shooting the queen? <laughs> I, it's terrible. I'm a massive monarchist. I love the queen. It's, uh, it would have been a, a nice instruction. Can you imagine what had happened to that poor man if it had happened and it had been the end? Probably would have brought back, you know, hanging, drawn, and quartering. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. That would very much be the highest form of treason. Was his name? I was imagine. his name Cromwell by any chance? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, if we don't actually know. Yes, uh, distant relatives. He is, un he is say, an yeah, unnamed soldier. I yeah. mean, I know the Queen's in very good health, but you'd reckon if you saw someone moving around the ground, she wouldn't exactly look like an intruder <laughs> from her silhouette. <laughs> Although this hmm. is a former guard, so it may have been a few years ago, but the story's oh, only just uh, come out. Or perhaps, for all we know, the Queen is just at 91 and doing a lot of Pilates. <laughs> a 90-year-old ninja. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I can see that. Maybe she's part of the SAS. You know, what she was doing was like, you know, going out for a sneaky night on in the town in Soho. And she was actually just <laughs> sneaking back in when she shouldn't have been. Yeah. She, she'd been to heaven that night. <laughs> exactly. like clubbing away at Charing Cross. And then, and then <laughs> sneaking back in. came at 3 a.m. Yeah. Aww. I say, I've, I've been, been to many impressed. a nightclub in London, <laughs> but I have—I don't think I have ever seen the Queen at Heaven or any any other nightclub that I've ever been to. Her disguise yeah. is just too good. Yeah, I mean, uh, there were certainly a lot of queens at Heaven, but none of them was the <laughs> Queen. None of them were the actual <laughs> one. So I've, I've had a plate put in front of me. What's a, I mean, this looks incredible, Andrew. Really good. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so that's our, our soft tacos with uh, Tom's signature spice mix. Uh, no, they're not locusts, what are they? They are crickets. Crickets, sorry. I can really see the crickets. And then we've got a multi <laughs> a multi bug cake. Tom, Andrew, thank you so yes. much for coming and, and bugging us, quite literally. <laughs> Indeed. It, was, it was our absolute pleasure. We um, loved it. It's been an education for us as well. Yeah. Mm. I mean, this is this is a real opportunity to kind of really push the boundaries of what we do, which is what we love. Yeah. And uh, and and would you would you recommend that uh, that maybe some of those people that are tuning in for the first time keep listening to us? Absolutely. I mean, I listened for the first time when Andrew was on uh, earlier in the year, and I've been an avid listener ever since. I think it's a no-brainer. Oh, uh, lovely. That's well, that's an endorsement if ever we we have. <laughs> But for now, from me, Chris. From me, Kez. From me, Catherine. And down there in the kitchen. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Thanks for listening.